Hi, in this Flash tutorial, we will learn masking and guide layer. First, we will learn about masking. You can see that in my stage here, I have my gummy bear that I created in my previous tutorial. So I want to only reveal portion of this gummy bear and that in Flash is called masking. To get started, I need to create a new layer above the layer of my object. So my gummy bear is in layer one and I need to create a new layer. In this case, it is layer three and it has to be above the layer of my gummy bear. Now I will create a circle and I want to remove the stroke. I don't need that. This circle will be our mask. So now I want to position it properly and make sure that the circle is in the new layer. Now we right click on the layer of our circle and we choose mask. And the layer beneath our masking layer will automatically be within the mask layer. You can see that the icon of the layer has been changed. Now it's a masking layer. You will also realize that the masking layer together with the layers that are being masked are locked. So whenever you want to see the result of your mask, you need to lock all the layers. And whenever you need to edit them, you need to unlock them. Like maybe you want to change the, the shape of your mask. We can also create an animation for a mask. So let's create more frames. Insert the keyframe. But before that, we have to unlock our layers. We create a keyframe, create a shape tween, and we give it a different position so it will be animated. So you see now that this shape is animated, and once we lock the layers, we will see our working mask. We can also do tricks like uh, a spotlight for opening scene by changing the scale of this circle. It doesn't necessarily have to be a circle. As long as it is a shape, it will work. So what if I wanted more layers within my mask layer? It's possible as well. We just go ahead to this uh, layer. We, we choose right click and we choose insert layer or we can just click on the button below. Now we have created an empty layer and we can put whatever content we want in that layer. And once we lock the layers, you see that it is masked within the circle. If we no longer want the layer to be masked, we can go to our layers, right click on the layer, choose properties, and you can change the type of the layer. Now it is a mask layer, we select it to be a normal layer. And once we click OK, the icon of the mask layer is now reverted back to a normal layer. And it is no longer within the mask. To put our layer back into the mask layer, we just have to drag it into the mask layer. You can see that it is going into, and when I drag out, it goes out. So after we drag the layer into the mask layers, we need to lock it to see the mask effect. So the layers within the mask can also be tween and animated. And here I'm animating my gummy bear, changing its rotation. So you see a bit of animation there while the mask is animating as well. And that's all for masking. Now we learn how to use the guide layer. To begin using the guide layer, we have to first create a stroke. And to create a stroke, we can use the pen tool. Let's use the pen tool to create a curvy line. Make sure that it is a shape. You can see that in the properties panel. Now let's go to the layer, right click and choose guide. You won't see any changes made to the stroke, but the layer has been converted into a guide layer. You can see that the icon is different. Now let's create a new layer and put it under the guide layer. And to demonstrate how the guide layer works, I'm going to take my gummy bear, copy it, and place in this new layer. You realize that when you drag your symbol, the middle circle 
which is the pivot of your symbol, will snap to the stroke, which is our guide. Now let's create more frames to create an animation. Create a keyframe, not on the guide layer, but on the layer of our symbol. Drag our symbol to the end of the path and create a classic twin. So our symbol is now moving on the guide. We can hide the guide layer and our symbol is still following the guide. If we no longer want our symbol to follow the guide layer, we can just simply drag our layer with the symbol out of the guide layer, just like how we did for the mask. We can see that our symbol is no longer following the guide and return back to its original twin. If we want the symbol to follow the guide again, all we have to do is drag it back into the guide layer. Now the reason why our stroke in the guide layer has to be a shape is because if we convert this into a symbol, our symbol that is supposed to follow the guide layer will not be able to track the stroke. Now even though that our symbol is within the guide layer, it won't follow the path. So we break it down by pressing on Ctrl B and we turn it back to a shape and you'll see that our symbol is now following the guide. So just like any other classic twin, we can also add in an ease, give it an ease in or out, and we can give it a rotation too. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.